What is your the beatings will continue until morale improves work story. It would be too much work for you to train new staff, so you'll just have to do your job plus most of someone else's job while we dick around for months on a unicorn hunt looking for some magic candidate who perfectly fits into the open position with zero training. Sincerely, the management. Magic candidate who perfectly fits the open position with zero training and for less than the last guy. Going through this at my work right now. They can't figure out why their candidates keep taking other offers or blowing off their start date. They sent a survey about what our perceptions about the workplace were. Voicing some issues with some areas was 100% going to get you in trouble so I complained that the survey was not anonymous and didn't complete most of it. Some days later I was personally contacted by three people wanting to find out what was wrong. They completely missed the whole point. What do people think makes them look cool, but actually makes them look like a jerk? Listening to music on their phone speaker in public. As a smoker. Smoking. Sure. For a photo shoot you'll look badass but 99. 9,999,999% 9 of the time? Ya yeah, just look like a dickhead. And smell like an ashtray. Source. I smell like an ashtray and look like a dickhead. Bragging about the stuff they own. Blaring their engine in a parking lot. Like, dude, this is a grocery store. You aren't impressing anyone. Being rude to retail workers or to people they deem as working in a job that's beneath them, it's degrading and just makes you look like a dick. They're demanding a service but belittling the people who provide it and that just instantly makes them look like an entitled jerk. Bullying. If there was a vote for one person to receive immortality, who would win? Me. WTF? Really comes down to who would you want to live with Keith Richards. At some point we need to stop and think about what kind of a world we are going to leave behind for Keith Richards. Dolly Parton. That one guy's dead wife. It's been six years and we're still choosing that guy's dead wife. My old boss, Hamish. So he can watch humanity go extinct and have a miserable eternity. Hmm. A hate vote, eh? Most likely the most undeserving asshole possible. It's probably more of a curse than a blessing so if it went to some random celebrity who actually isn't a great person it wouldn't really matter. That dude in India with the feeding program feeding 2 million kids a day or something. What's the most overrated drink? Negroni Sabagliato with Prosecco in it. Fight Milk, the first alcoholic dairy-based protein drink for bodyguards. By bodyguards, I drink it every morning so I can fight like a crow. In reality it's a diarrhea drink that made Cerrone and Felder shit and vomit their brains out. And it's not the official drink of the UFC. G Fuel is just caffeinated Kool-Aid. You kids are getting ripped off. Martinis. They will call anything a martini. If any bar serves 30 types of martinis, that means their customers don't actually like a martini. I once went to a martini bar, and I asked for a martini. First, they didn't have gin so I settled for a vodka martini. Then the waitress came back and they didn't have vermouth. Like, what the hell are you doing then? Pan Galactic Gargle Blaster. What is something that Reddit thinks is more popular than it actually is? Dot. Open marriages. People who make over $400,000 a year. Someone tell the second bit to our economics. I swear everyone there is under the impression that the average college grad makes $200,000 400k within 5 years of graduation. Reddit. The number of people who think that, what people are talking about on Reddit, is the same as, what everybody is talking about in general, is too damn high. TikTok trends. Most, crazy TikTok trends. Amount to an absolutely tiny amount of people doing something stupid but the media pumps it up for engagement and Reddit falls for it hook line and sinker. OnlyFans, Redditors act like half the 20-something women they know are on it.